it's Pelier today and I hope you guys liked the preview you guys saw of this opium effect you guys saw in the beginning. I thought it looked pretty cool. This is going to be no plugins so anyone who has alt effects can basically make this which I'm pretty excited about. And if you guys don't know I have a website called editingvisuals.com where I have a lot of editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing. And I recently released some new editing packs so be sure to check them out if you want to level up your editing game. Now let's get into the tutorial, so here I'm in After Effects, I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing this open effect on. So I'm using some clips here of Destroy Lonely from his music video If Looks Could Kill, probably his most famous song I guess, so yeah, I think you guys uh, know it. Anyways, now I'm going to start making the effect, so we're going to start off by creating a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y, and we're going to start off by adding noise to this. And I'm going to increase the noise to 10% here. And I just want to have a small tiny noise here to start off with. After that I'm going to be using Threshold. And here you can tweak the settings here depending on like how, how your clip looks. I'm going to go with around 15 to 20 here for my clip. And it's going to look something like this here. Which is a pretty pretty cool opium look in my opinion. And after that I'm going to be adding noise again. And here I'm going to go all in on the noise basically so I'm going to increase it. We're going to get this like RGB noise here because we're using the yeah, color noise um, which I think looks pretty cool. I've seen in some of the like new opium music videos uh, overseas one for example they're using the more kind of RGB touch to the opium effects which I thought looked pretty cool so that's one of the reasons I'm using a little bit more RGB in this uh, effect in particular and yeah after that I'm going to be adding mosaic and here I'm going to be increasing the vertical blocks and the horizon blocks to around 300 so we will get this low quality cool looking opium effect here and I think this it's a little bit desaturated, so I'm going to be adding curves to this and just increase the contrast a little bit, just like that. You could also add the brightness and contrast and increase the contrast there, but I like to uh, yeah, use curves, then in that way you can tweak it a little bit more in my opinion. After that I'm going to be adding fast box blur. Here I'm going to be increasing the blur radius to 2, and I think the fast box blur really makes it more raw like the the low quality here because if you just unshake it for a second and you see the pixel it, it looks kind of digitally like made and if you put fast box blur on it looks like it's like that's how the footage looks you know what i mean like it's a little bit more natural in my opinion and after that i'm going to be adding on sharp mass to just sharpen it up a little bit and i'm going to increase the amount to 200 and then the radius to 5. so this is the difference with and without the fast box blur it's gonna yeah, get that more natural look in my opinion. And after that, I'm going to be adding a post-rise time. So we're going to get this laggy look here. Now I'm playing in quarter quality. But you guys get the point. It's going to be getting pretty laggy here. Looks pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. This opium effect here. And, uh, and if you guys don't know, Povikas have actually made a opium preset pack. Which I think looks very very good in my opinion and i'm going to be showcasing some of the presets from that pack so if you're like really into this opium style that's a real time saver for you so here if i open up opium presets in yeah the effects and presets section here we have a lot of opium effects to choose from and i'm just going to make an adjustment layer so here we could add the opium 6 effect just one of the effects from the pack and it's going to look something like this here very very cool opium effect easy drag and drop and easy to customize you guys can just go to the settings tweak whatever that needs to be customized for your particular clip i think this looks pretty pretty cool there's also the opium 12 it's a little bit dark here but the only thing you gotta do is just add curves to your clip layer increase the brightness it's going to look something like this very very cool opium effect i would say that's one of the like most classic like opium looks very very cool to use and i can try opium one for example Adjust the brightness a little bit and you will get this opium look here. Really really cool if you like this opium aesthetic, opium effects. It's really perfect for you, it's a real time save. You guys can see how many effects there is here. Has to be over yeah, 30 up to 40 effects here. Crazy amount of value in this pack. And yeah, if you guys are interested in the opium preset pack, it's going to be available on povikas.com. And if you guys want to save a little bit of money off that pack, you can use the discount code PELLE 
while checking out. And it's going to be linked in the description if you guys are interested. And for our own opium effect here, when you're done, if you want to save this as a preset, you just mark all of your effects here by pressing Ctrl A, then go to animation, save animation preset, save, and there we have it. Then we can use it for another time. It's very, very cool. And yeah, I hope you guys thought it looked <laughs> cool as well. And uh, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com. And also don't forget to check out the Opium Preset Pack at povikas.com. Both of the websites are going to be linked in the description. And also don't forget to check out my socials, join our Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.